in the county. And if you are looking for something this weekend, oh, here's a lovely one for you. Because local charity, The Matthew Project, are hosting a special day along with the John Aves Education Project. It's happening at Mannington Hall near Blickling, and the event running from 11 till 5 on Sunday. So let's catch up with Sarah King from The Matthew Project. Sarah, good afternoon. Hello, Kaylee. How are you doing? Oh, I'm all right, thank you. And this sounds absolutely fab. So what have you got planned? Yeah, we're very excited. So um, Lady Walpole, that owns the Mannington Hall Estate, has kindly invited um, ourselves and the John Aves Education Project, as you say, to host um, their annual charity day. It's um, over 40 years they've been running. Um, and she's opening up her gardens and actually also her private house, which um, is unusual. So there'll be an opportunity to have a look around inside the house, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so, yeah, the, this day is in aid of the Matthew Project and John Aves. Um, having said that, we've also got uh, 20 charity stalls attending, all Norfolk based, um, and a further 20 craft and art stalls. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be busy. Hopefully we can get lots of people along. The forecast is good weather, so fingers crossed it stays. And, uh, yeah, it should be good. It's um, because John Aves Education Project, they, um, they're a charity that supports young people. Um, they're based in Norfolk, but actually they support young people who are over in the Daesh Palestinian refugee camp um, near Bethlehem. Um, John Aves. Uh, was a Reverend Cannon um, based in Norwich who sadly passed away um, and his wife set up the um, the foundation in, in his memory um, and so they continue the work that he was doing to support young people, um, giving them scholarships so that they can fund their further education at local universities. Um, and then obviously the Matthew Project, who hopefully you've heard of, um, also support young people alongside um, children, their families, adults in recovery and veterans, all um, with issues that are associated with substance misuse. So the two of us are going along for the day. We have um, children's games and activities. As I said, we've got the craft stalls, we've got live music. We have the mini donkeys. We've got um, a vintage car exhibition. We've got some Morris dancers. There'll be face painting. Um, woodland walks, plant sales, a barbecue, ice cream van, posh coffee, loads of homemade cakes, um, and uh, yeah, just lots of fun for all the family, because obviously this is the last weekend of the summer holidays, so for any parents that have made it through the six weeks, this will be a really nice way to finish it off with the children, so um, yeah, five pounds entry for adults. And then anyone under 16 has entry for free, and it's an additional two pounds to go into the house itself. So, um, yeah, we just wanted to spread the words. <laughs> so thank you for having us, <laughs> giving us this opportunity to tell you more. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. And I mean, you're pulling out all the stops on this, aren't you? It's not just sort of, you know, turn up and look at the wonderful houses. I mean, there, there's literally everything there, I think, practically for everybody. I don't think you, you will turn up and not find something you enjoy there. What a lineup! <laughs> well, yeah, I, yeah, I think it's go big or go home, isn't it? So and, uh, this is, you know, it's a traditional kind of um, fates type day, but... Yeah, we've, we've been really well supported by local craft um, and, and artists and charities. So, yeah, plenty, plenty to occupy people that are, that are going to be attending. One note I should make, um, obviously being Norfolk and out in the sticks, mobile phone reception is a little sporadic. So if we can ask people that do attend to bring along cash, that would be much appreciated. But obviously we'll have card machines available as well. They just may be a little bit slow. Um, but yeah, we just we hope they'll be really well supported. So um, tell your friends, tell your families, tell your children, tell the corner shop owner, you know, everybody you can, spread the word and let's get as many people along as possible on the day. And I mean, to be in those grounds as well because I mean it's an absolutely stunning place and I mean the house it's, it's as close to a castle as you're going to get I think isn't it, it it's glorious it's yeah I was really lucky to um to go up with the John A's education project when they first when Lady Walpole first invited us to do this and we did get a sneaky tour of the property and oh my goodness it was built in the uh 1460 so it's really kind of um old and Tudor and it's got that lovely smoky smell when you walk in of like old houses it's amazing and oak beams and timber walls and giant fireplaces um, naturally I did have to ask if there were any ghosts when I went and apparently they are but I shan't give anything away you'll have to learn more about that on the day but um, yeah and then outside there are beautiful landscape gardens it's surrounded by a moat um, and you know, woodlands as well and there's um, some nice woodland walks that you can do there there's ruins of a church that you can explore so yeah it's a vast estate um, and if you haven't been before I would highly recommend coming along 
um, and, and having a look. It's wonderful. And I mean, if, if you don't know what, what the Matthew Project does, I mean, to be able to, to be a part of this day and, and to be able to raise awareness and, and I guess as well, raise, raise some monies as well, that it must be so important. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we've, we've come, we're post-COVID now, aren't we? And we've entered into a, a, an economic crisis. So, yeah, we, we need support from our community as, as much and if not more than ever. Um, I'm from the fundraising team myself, and um, it is it's a challenging time. So yeah, every every penny raised from this day will be split fifty fifty between ourselves, the Matthew Projects, and John Aves, um, and it will allow both charities to to continue funding our important work. Um, yeah. And I mean, if you haven't heard of the Matthew Project before, so so just outline some of that work for us. What what are some of the projects that that you're working on at the moment? Okay. Yeah. So we are based primarily in Norfolk, um, and we support children. Uh, young people, their families, adults in recovery and veterans um, and it's all with um, substance misuse issues and, and associated issues for example you know mental health, um, employability and um, housing um, so yeah we, our veteran service actually extends beyond Norfolk we are now based um, supporting veterans across the whole of East Anglia so Norfolk, Suffolk, Essex and Cambridge um, so yeah, it's a really big project. And then, um, yeah, young people from as young as five years old, right the way through to sort of 2021. Um, we have seen, you know, a spike in young people struggling as a result of lockdown, um, an increase in anxiety and, and mental health issues. Um, people that perhaps would have been stuck, you know, in their rooms essentially throughout lockdown um, and, and needs that little bit more support than is available just to help them get on the road, the right track to sort of moving forward with whatever their goal may be, be it education or employment or volunteering or, um, yeah, just sort of moving forward. So, yeah, there's a whole load of work that comes underneath the Matthew Project umbrella. But, um, you know, you can be assured that the work that we do goes back into benefiting the community in Norwich, Norfolk and beyond. Oh, and to have this weekend as well. So Sunday, it's from 11 until 5 o'clock. So to find out a bit more, Sarah, and, and, and maybe sort of, is it okay to just turn up or, or can you book on to this? You can, you can book on, actually. We do have an Eventbrite page, so information can be found if you search on Eventbrite. There is also a Facebook uh, page set up, again, an event, so you can search on Facebook. There's loads of information on our website, which you'll find at www.matthewproject.org forward slash Mannington Charity Day. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's posters, and obviously you hear this, we had some, some press locally. So, um, yeah, but to, to find out more, head to the website, please turn up on the day, very welcome. We have disabled access as well, um, with parking for the cafe, unfortunately not the house, but the grounds are very accessible. Um, uh, yeah, five pound on the gates, and free for under 16s. Oh, it sounds absolutely beautiful day. Look, best of luck, Sarah. It's going to be amazing. And any excuse to explore those grounds, let alone do it for, for amazing causes as well. Best of luck. The sound, the sound.